This is so crap. That is one of the most unpleasant things I've done in a long time. So, Pete, what do you know about today? Don't know much about today. I've been told to come here. I've been told to come here. Meet at quarter to eight. To get some instructions. I'm ready. I have the kit. What have you got planned for me? Okay. Interesting. This is exciting, isn't it? Oh, goodness. Thank you, everyone, who has supported the channel. To celebrate hitting 100,000 subscribers, I cameraman Pete, with the help of the subscribers, have set you and Pete 100 challenges. Thanks, Pete. Two subs have been randomly selected and you will each compete to win them prizes. What prizes, you ask? Well, how about a crack train, unparalleled climbing shoe, white boy's hoodie, white boy's t-shirt, crack gloves, crack care kit, more crack tape than you can shake a stick at, all the crack school videos, 12-week training plan from Lattice. If that wasn't enough, them stickers. Oh, nice. Your subscriber is Megan Wong. Your subscriber is Nenny or maybe Nini. Nenny, I think Nenny. Complete more challenges than Tom for your sub to win. There are three locations. You have 10 hours. Time your time starts, starts now. now. Oh, a hundred of them. There's three pages. Well, some of these are pretty quick. So this is this is what people have set us. Right, no, outdoor crag. Right. Pick up a piece of litter. Oh. Challenge, number one, complete. Well, we best just crack on then, haven't we? I should try and like link some of these together then. Okay, outdoor, teach Magnus to climb belly. Pick up a piece of litter. A dog shit bag. Is that, I've done one. 100 press ups. Ugh, didn't mean lots of 10, I think. Do you know why Pete's tooth is missing? Tell us why Pete's tooth is missing. So originally he got pulled over on a dance floor by Mari. I was drunk and I fell over, I hit the side of the stage. It kind of broke and snapped his tooth off. Fake bit got put in. And then again, recently. I was trying really hard in Indian Creek and then I bit the fake bit out. Yeah, that's another challenge to complete there. Let's go to the boulders. Ah, do a hundred press ups. You don't want to do those all together. So I think like a good warm up. I want to keep doing tens throughout the day. Okay, 90 more to go. I've got to post a non climbing photo and get a thousand likes. A, cli a non climbing photo. A thousand likes! Place a cam. I can do that. Are we happy with that? I need a social media influencer to help me. Challenge day kicks off. This isn't very good. Do something impressive. I've got an idea. Is that, is that impressive? We, I might think of something else. I might think of something else. I'm going to climb a tree, I'm going to make a first ascent, and I'm going to name it uh, Dawn Wall. The thing is, I have to do it this way, otherwise there's, there's not a guarantee that someone hasn't climbed this first ascent. Okay, uh, the name is Dawn Wall. The grade, very bushy. Give Pete a channel shout out. Whoop, whoop. Go follow Session Media. Climb a route shoeless. Climb an outdoor boulder problem whilst carrying bouldering mat. Tell someone you hate crack climbing. Pete, I hate it. I hate crack climbing. Honestly, it's awful. Uh, do something impressive. Oh, what up? Always have a set of playing cards in your pocket. Choose a card. Mm, yep, don't show them to me. Okay, we're gonna cut the pack. Take the pack, I'll take the camera. Spell out your card on the ground. O, F, R, T, Yes. Is that how you spell hearts? Let's reveal the next card, see what happens. Oh, that's actually really impressive. I've got to do something Toby would be happy with, haven't I? <laughs> They're quite big, actually. I've got to go so bloody tactical to have any sort of chance of keeping up and pee. I don't think people realise how hard this is. Whoa! <laughs> how is that parkour enough? He's a really good, well-trained, well-prepared athlete. I'm just a middle-aged dad. That's a tick. Use Cockney rhyming slang to describe a route. This route is always worth a butcher's. Uh, so we're doing the Tom Cruise, oh, one of those rubbish films where he was on some sandstone towers and he does like this knee bar thing and he just like hangs off a double knee bar. Start a Mission Impossible 2. Is that what it is? Yeah. Right, okay. I haven't got any chalk on, so. <laughs> a non-climbing related skill. Uh, yes. Alright, I'm gonna have to think about that. A bit of juggling. Uh, that wasn't very good. 
40. Climb problem facing away from the rock. Is that a problem? Well, I'm not doing it for myself, I'm doing it for Megan, aren't I? So. Oh, uh, Pete. Thank you. Hey Toby, hope you're doing good. Uh, me and Pete are doing this 100k challenge for the Wide Boys YouTube channel. Please set me a challenge which is not too hard. 10% of the way through, that means I have to have only been an hour in, doesn't it? Holy smokes, we are an hour in. I am a bit lost. This hasn't been the best strategy. Okay, let's see what's on the list because here we could definitely link a few together. We've got climb a boulder fully feet first. This is perfect for that. Do a first ascent and name it. So, I'm going to do that boulder. Pete? Yes. You've got to choose a chance card. Two of them are bad, one of them's good. <laughs> <laughs> Wear fancy dress for the next five challenges. You're in luck. <laughs> Excellent. Right. <laughs> do you ever see any other professional climbers doing shit like this? You know what, I'm going to do three all linked together. I'm going to do climb a boulder problem feet first, then I'm going to link it into this route over here, which is going to be the first ascent. Both have already been done, like that's been done, that's been done, but I'm doing a link up. I'm just hoping that nobody's done that before. I'm going to film it for a reel and post it on Instagram. I'm climbing a link up, new route. I have to name it. I have to name it. Okay, so the Kursk into the knock. This is too much long. Knock my Kursk. There we go. It's taking too long. Uh, V5 slash E4. Climb a route shoeless using chalk on feet. Climb whilst wearing a bolden pad. You see how sweaty my feet are. Climb it feet first. I don't know what I'm doing. Turn shoes inside out. Well, I can probably cut these things and flip them upside down. I've got my lunch knife. Anything's worth it for being Pete. There it goes. Uh, <sighs> climb a route in shoes way too big. Okay, well, cover both of those. Let's go and do this problem. I think I can climb this one with no feet and feet first. There's a certain <laughs> point in a man's life where one has to ask themselves. Oh God, this is surprising me hard. What decisions <laughs> have I made to bring me here? Oh, this is hideous. This is so crap. Oh, why am I doing this? Ah, yeah. <sighs> that was so shit. Yeah, I'd say that was legit. Yeah, thanks. And this is a route called Parthian Shot. It was first done by John Dunn. It's basically got this flake in the middle uh, and everybody sort of was like worried about this flake. They didn't know whether it was gonna break off. There's gear behind it. And then John Dunn did it and then didn't get repeated for a while. And then eventually it was Seb Grieve who repeated it. And he actually started taking whippers onto the flake. And everybody was like, whoa, the flake holds, the flake holds. But still there was a bit of like awe of like, oh, when is the flake gonna break? And then eventually the flake broke. Unfortunately, um, it was actually on the climber called Will Stanhope, a visiting climber. He decked out, hit the floor, broke his ankles maybe? But now it's still waiting for like the first full ascent from the ground, climbing up, no runners in the side crack, placing the gear lower down on the flake and climbing to the top. That's your piece of climbing history, Parthian Shot, very famous route in the Peak District. One of the challenges was turn the shoe inside out and do a climb, but it didn't say I had to wear the shoe because I don't particularly want to do a, like a route, a climb. Uh, in inside out shoes. So the plan is to do it in big shoes, turn this one inside out and clip it to me as I climb. But it's all about sneaky tactics. I feel like Tom's gonna be really sneaky as well. So it's a good job I've got some really soft shoes. 
That is never gonna go. I'm not gonna lie, it's tricky. <laughs> it's a tricky one, this. It's not an easy one, this. <sighs> oh my God. This is genuinely very, very hard. <laughs> I think I might have genuinely freaking done it. Oh, I'm happy with that. Now I'll do a route. You may want to do them at quite tight. <laughs> oh, it's really hard to get on because it's like rubber. <laughs> the great thing about this is I can use your shoe on the edge of the crack. Perfect. <laughs> Also, this isn't on the list, but I can give a crack school. How done going? Armbar with the right. Guppy with the left. You, uh... Oh yeah, I forgot you didn't have shoes on. <laughs> Sorry about that. So facing away and How missing them. How you done those? Well, all of them. Little tactical detour, and then we'll head to the climbing gym after that. I didn't bring any friends to the crag today. So I couldn't place a friend in the crack, so I need to go do that. I think I can probably clear off a couple of the other challenges in the shop at the same time. Okay, so I can open up Pete's book, they're gonna have his book. I'm gonna find a pink rope, I'm gonna make Pete a cup of tea, but I'm gonna do it in their cafe. Tom? Yeah? Something I didn't tell you before is there is another element to this challenge. Throughout the day, you'll be given challenge cards. You have to pick one, and you have to do whatever it says. Wear fancy dress for the next five challenges. In public. In the shop? Yes. I haven't worn one of these for a while. God, I hope it's not too busy. One arm push up. Okay. <sighs> Would I be able to borrow a friend? Uh, or maybe like a selection of two, th three different sizes? Because I've just got to do a very quick check. Cracks, cracks, cracks. Oh yeah, okay. Bingo. That's one done. Right, post a friend. Make a friend. What do you mean my friend? Oh, I don't know, that's pushing it. Well, go on then, maybe today. I'll do Excellent. my Okay, I've got to order some coffee and order some cake. I can do that. Uh, oh, I've got to find a pink rope, pink rope. Outside always has pink ropes, pink ropes, pink ropes. Oh, there. Pink that's rope. Makes somebody's well, day. Anna Hazelnut loves British trad. I'm going to get her a guidebook. North Wales. I've got a slate or, I think, Clambellis. I'd almost forgotten that I was wearing this banana seat, you know? You've done your five challenges in it now. Have I? Yeah. I feel surprisingly normal. Ca cafe time. You should do another coffee. Did you find Pete's crack book? Oh, shit. He gave me a copy, and I think he signed it with a nice note, and I've lost that as well. <laughs> Is there anyone in here? Oh, it's mildly embarrassing. That's all right. Could I have one coffee, please? And one cake. Coffee. Could I make a cup of tea of for Pete? Pete? Yeah, for yes. Pete. Mugs are in there. There we go. There you go. Is that all? There you go, Pete. There's a cup of tea. Try to convince another pro climber that you just sent Seb's new sign 9C and you think the news was a typo because it felt like 7C to you. So I'm going to do this one to James Pearson. Hey James, uh, it's Tom here. I think that I might have just climbed Seb's new 9C, but I am wondering whether maybe it was a typo in the grade because it felt like maybe 7C, not 9C, and I'm just not sure. Um, and you've got a good opinion and experience of these kind of grades and grading mishaps. <laughs> How old do you get on with James Pearson? James? Yeah, really. I barely know him. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to call Anna Hazelnut and see whether I did indeed make her day. Hi. Hey Anna, how you doing? A gift that I've got for you which is waiting at home in the UK. Did I in any way make your day? That completely made my day. Uh, so we're going to head back to the van and uh, do another 10 press-ups, <laughs> get those in, and then we're going to head to a commercial climbing gym. Okay, so just stopping at home because I've got to do something impressive and I have a plan and I also have to post an Instagram photo of a non-climbing thing, so I'm going to link the two together again. So, here we go. Very flat. No, I need to actually cycle to stay on. Unicycle. Is that impressive? 
I think we just crack on. Let's do it. Tom's probably ahead of us. I need the keys. Thank you. <laughs> no traffic. So we're at the climbing hangar in Sheffield, and I have got 39-ish. I mean, that's quite accurate number of challenges to do still. We're about three hours into it. That's like a third of the time, third of the problems. Oh, this is gonna be tight. And I've also seen that some of these problems are quite physically hard. So that's gonna be a problem. Tell you what, should do now. I'm really glad it didn't say what type of press ups you had to do with this. We've lost a lot of time due to driving and also stopping to ride a unicycle. So we best crack on and get these problems done. I've got one here, climb an eighth grade route. So I'm gonna climb a V8. I'm just going to do it. Okay, I'm going to try and kill two birds with one stone here. Brush every hold as you're going on the route and climb a eighth grade route. some figure of four so we can do those in the roof. Pete. Yes. You have oh, no. two. Oh god. <laughs> one of them's good, one of them's bad. Oh goodness. You only have to do half of each of the next challenge five challenges. Well I'll do half of it. So that's good. That's very good. I guess you can t interpret this in any way, can't you? Half a challenge. If it says find a no hand rest, take out your phone, call the front desk and order something. What's half of that? Order half as much. <laughs> it's five espressos. Five espressos. So, yeah. Someone told me that these are default double espressos here. How many espressos should I start with? What's a good number to start climbing? Five. Yeah, five. Sugar in your espresso. Yeah, I'm not an animal. I beg to differ. So there's loads of challenges on here which are like 100 sit ups, 50 pull ups, whatever it is, 100 deadlifts. So I could just do half of those. It says 50 pull ups, so I'm going to do 25. Oh, so 50 sit ups? Sit-ups. Where was that then? Don't tell me I just did some and it wasn't on there. 100 squats and 50 lunges, but obviously I've got weak legs, I'm a climber. So I'm going to do 50 squats and 25 lunges. And then after that, I have two remaining challenges where I can half them. The next challenge is 100 bicep curls. So let's check out the bicep curl rack. So we could go for something, maybe this one or something. Actually, it doesn't say like how many, how much weight you have to do. So maybe, like, we're not here to impress, are we? We're here to get the job done. Ones. Okay, so this one is, <laughs> Do, do 100 of these and then do a steep boulder problem. Seven, eight, nine, 50. Right, climb a steep boulder problem. I mean, there's no point in just like going around doing easy stuff, is there? Apart from when I fall off it. There we go, big tick. Open Pete's book on a random page and try to illustrate whatever it is there. Stemming in corners and chicken wing. Here we go. Stemming. Like this. Chicken wing. Stemming. You only have to do half of the next five challenges. Okay, so I'm going to do uh, half of the number of pull-ups, half of body weight for my deadlifts, half of my 100 squats, half of a front lever. Can't really do full front lever. And I do half of a one-armer, because again, I can't do a proper one-armer. 
Or maybe I could today, because I've just had five coffees. <laughs> you don't know me, do you? Just to confirm that you're a stranger. Would I be able to slip one of your phone shoes, please? Go for it. These are my dad's old shoes. Been Are they? There's nothing to them. Okay, so I have to sniff a pair of climbing shoes. Obviously, I don't want to look like a total weirdo, so I can see some just sticking out over there. I'm just going to walk past, give a little sniff, and then tick, done. They're actually quite fresh. <laughs> they were all right. <sighs> Got to rush off somewhere else now. Yes, so finish that. It's all gone well. I'm very curious to know how Tom's doing. Uh, that's going to be very interesting, but I've basically done pretty much all of them. Uh, now we just have the cellar to go. Uh, I just hope that I'm winning for Megan, my subscriber. That's, that's what I'm hoping for. Just hope I'm in the lead. I don't think Tom's going to have been able to turn a shoe inside out, basically. <laughs> like, I just don't think that's going to have happened. Um, hey, I've got this. Is that the, that's the last? No, this is a bonus. A, a bonus, bonus challenge. And what does this mean then? Well, you've got to read it and yeah, right. see. Be careful with it when you open it. It's got a fold in it. Uh. Bonus challenge. Win your subscriber an additional prize by completing this task. Eat this lemon, you have 30 seconds. The whole thing. <laughs> How is it? Got this. <laughs> as soon as it goes in, it's done. Congratulations! You've just won your subscriber a guaranteed additional prize. It's so awful. Oh. Right, we should go. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm trying to find something which is squishy that I can do a backflip onto. That's kind of squishy, isn't it? It's a little bit more of a how hard can it be. So when I asked you earlier, can you do a flip, and you said, yeah! Sort of. Oh God. That's not that squishy. Well, sort of. It's half of one, I don't know. We have to crack through these now. Um, I've just seen one that is order a pizza and also one that involves eating a pizza. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is actually order a pizza. Okay, so there's three challenges I can knock off here. And that's the pizza challenges. Uh, I've got to order the pizza from a no-hunt rest. Got to get the delivery guy down to the cellar hanging in a crack. And then I've got to eat a slice of pizza whilst hanging from a jam. So it all involves pizza. Find your burgers, curries, kebabs, chicken, pizza. Taking off a jumper whilst hanging from a jam. Oh, that wasn't as easy as I thought. Done. Campus a route in the cellar. The end of the crack already. Yeah. What baked item would you use to work out the area of a circle? A compass, protractor. I don't know. Pie. Oh. <laughs> Pie. <laughs> what is 48 divided by 4? 12. What is 10% of 5 times 10? 5 times 10, 50. 10% uh, of that, 5. And what is the next prime number that comes after 10? 11. Yes. <sighs> oh, right. Oh. Right, okay. Yes, here we go. This is a bad one. Speak in an Irish accent for the, for, for the next five challenges. Perfect when the pizza's coming. <laughs> it's gonna not be very good for the, for the Irish people. I hope I don't offend anybody. Oh, is, <laughs> I'm gonna get so many <laughs> comments about this. Shit, Irish accent. Is this going to make Andre want to come into the cellar? <laughs> Pizza's oh. here. <laughs> oh, God. Yum, come in. Hello. And what we do is we put our hands in here and, and we just hold on. And that's 
like that's all I've got to get you to do for the challenge. And like this and with the fingers. Like this one. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Like this one? Yeah. Oh, it's a difficult. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes! Yeah, yes! Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes! Good! Thank you! Okay, that was a terrible Irish accent, but I got the guy down into the cellar, which was brilliant. That's a no! Oh. Half an hour remaining. That's what arrives. Okay, so five sit ups. One, two, three. Good Brilliant. That was really, really close. It's coming up again. Okay, Pete, what's the situation? I think we've basically got time for three more challenges, which is uh, learn a new knot, um, find a pink rope and do a portrait out of climbing gear. Order food to seller, delivery person climbs a crack. I'm going to use my kids. This is what kids are here for. Oh, hola, Hannah. ¿Qué tal? This is Hannah and Sophie's Sweet Delivery Service. Um, Tráeme un paquete de, paquete de um, dulces que están en la cocina. Ten pounds uh, on delivery. Diez libras, vale. Sí, yeah. ten quid. Oh. Yeah. 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 Hey. So. What are you looking for, mate? Looking for a pink climbing rope. There's no legit pink ropes actually in here. You can show me a climbing knot though. You go a third one. Yeah. Then you take this right hand one and that is it. That's it? Pete, that's magical. That's not my butterfly. Oh. And that is all the climbing challenges. <sighs> Done. So the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make a portrait of Tom in climbing gear. Must be a black static rope somewhere. You know what? I'm going to send him a video, a link of the video that we made on climbing belly full of bad berries. Um, and then he... Oh, sometimes he wears like a headband as well. They're quite big eyebrows, but... Yes. Yeah? <laughs> That's our Tom! <laughs> so there we have it, 100 challenges in a day for the 100,000 subscriber special. Thanks very much for everybody who has subscribed to the channel already and hopefully after that video, if you aren't subscribed, then you will. That is brilliant. And now we need to find out the results, who actually won and do our chosen subscribers get the prize. I got 92. 92 out of 100. It's been a long day. 98. That never ever happens. What? It's only got 98. I felt old, I feel injured, uh, and I got extremely close to being sick. Well done Team Tom. But at least Megan still got the lemon prize because that was the bonus challenge and I completed it. So there is still, there is still a prize. So there we go, there's still a prize for Megan. I will probably be able to hold it against him for at least a month.